guys, it's Chris again, Gear Noir on the forums, it's good to be back with you. Um, I figured I'd just do a special shave update today. I will be doing my regular Tob shave, trying to get rid of that stuff. Um, but I've got a special item that I'm going to be using today, and um, I figured I'd just also give a little update on the things that have been happening over the last week. Um, nothing major, just a lot of uh, uh, personal events going on, and I thought I'd share some of that with you. Um, but uh, you might notice I'm a little bit more wet than normal, I guess. Uh, I literally just jump out of the shower and uh, most days, or the last couple times I've done these videos, I've simply just been wetting the face as preparation. Uh, today was a get the whole deal done day, so that's what I did. Uh, I'm still trying to get rid of this tops, so you can see I'm making a little bit more progress there. Don't worry, that's a brush hair. <laughs> um, but, yes, and a special item, thanks to Xeno Straight Shaver on uh, the Cadre forums, uh, theshavingcadre.com. Um, I got a very nice brush PIF that I received, and one of them was this guy. It's a Rudy Vase Shave Mac, the D01 Silver Tip Brush, and... Uh, this is actually the most expensive brush now that I've ever held and that I'm about to use. Um, no knock to my uh, normal brush, the uh, Razor Rock Big Bruce. This is quite a step up. And uh, yeah, so really looking forward to using this. So I'm gonna get to it. I've already got it wetted down. Just gonna add a little water in the soap, load it up. I'm going to do a light load because I want to try to enjoy the brush as much as possible. I'm not going to load as heavy as I normally do. So I got this PIF from Dave. Thanks very much, Dave. Um, and there's the load there. That should be enough. Um, let the face a little bit. It was actually... That's nice. That's soft. It was actually a three brush PIF on the Cadre forms. Um, some brushes Dave didn't want anymore. And I figured why not? They're all pretty much, uh, not all like this one, but brushes I wouldn't otherwise normally be able to have. Add some more water. Just because I mentioned before, I am kind of a thrifty shaver. I don't spend a whole lot on this little hobby. But uh, yes, this is definitely very nice. I don't, still don't know if I'd, at this point in evaluation, if it's something I'd personally buy, but. Very glad to experience it, Dave. Thank you. It is... The tips are just so soft. So, one of the main reasons I entered this particular PIF was trying to put together a... Uh, little shaving kit for my dad. Try to get him into stuff. And uh, I think he would like one of these brushes. The other two were a very nice boar brush. And very nice synthetic brush. That's also happens to be uh, Rudy Bay. Mm, this is looking really thin. I'm going to add just a little bit more product. Maybe I didn't load as much as I thought I did. Look 
a little bitter. Last couple days though, I've been trying to pick a travel brush. I'm going on a trip pretty quickly here. And uh, my normal brush I've been using, a Body Shop Synthetic, one of the worst brushes ever made probably. I mean, it does its job, but it's a pretty harsh brush. I've heard they've since uh, made their brushes a little bit better in more recent years. But the one I have is a harsh mistress. So, trying to decide if I still want to take that one because I have to deal with it for about a week. And if I don't want to take that one, the other option right now is I don't want to take my synthetic, my Razor Rock, because I really like that one. I don't want to lose it or have something happen to it. But, uh, alright, first pass, Feather. This blade probably has like, I think this is the 17th shave on it. Just going to do the with the grain and against the grain with this one. But, uh, yeah, so... I don't want to take the synthetic, even though I have this new one to play around with now from Dave. I'll be checking that one out tomorrow. But uh, the other option is a AOS. That's the Art of Shaving Genuine Badger Brush. quite a bit better than the body shop one but still a little bit harsh I pulled it out for the first time in a while over the weekend just to kind of give it a initial test and I did it again yesterday um, it softened out a bit it was quite scrubby over the weekend probably due to some leftover soap residue. I, I cleaned it up as best I could. And uh, seems to be going better. But right in the middle of the knot of the AOS brush are some is this really little clump somewhere in the middle. I can't exactly find where because I only feel it on my face, I can't feel it with my hands. There's a clump of very harsh bristles, very harsh hairs. So it makes things a tad bit unpleasant when I'm face lathering especially, because that's what I do most of the time, as you were seeing a minute ago. That's my conundrum I'm on top of trying to find a brush out of these three PIF ones for my dad. And why does it have to be the three PIF ones? Because they're nice. And he's my dad. And I want him to enjoy this hobby if he decides to pursue it. did have concerns when I received the PIF box. Um, my dad is sensitive to some smells and I believe Dave is either a pipe or cigar smoker. So the brushes came a little bit scented in that manner. I don't mind it personally. I did um, go through a small cleaning process last night before I decided to use it this morning just to see how much I could clean. I 
might do that again. Um, but uh, the Shave Mac, at least for the moment, is really hanging on to that scent. I don't mind it. Uh, as I mentioned before, I had kind of dabbled with that for a while. Uh, cigars at least. But uh, I don't know if my dad would appreciate something like that. And I definitely want him to appreciate whatever he gets. Mm. It's been a while since I've used a badger. I obviously didn't uh, load nearly enough. Either that, either that or it's just this type of badger. So we'll get it to work. Only two passes left. Right, so right now, uh, the synthetic might be the one I sent to my dad, even though I haven't used it yet. I'll probably use it tomorrow. Just a double shirt check, but it's held on to the scent the least. It still lingers just a tad. But you really have to be kind of looking for it, sniffing for it to find it. I think with another cleaning or two it might be just fine. it's kind of difficult to get that certain smell out of things like hair and, and other porous materials like wood and stuff. Uh, oh yeah, wood ham. That's what this is. That's why part of the reason why it's retaining the scent so much, even though it's stabilized. Very nice, very nice brush. The uh, tips are way softer than even my Big Bruce synthetic. Which is surprising. Who knew badgers could be so soft and cuddly? And yet not be. So yeah, also leaning toward the badger for my travel brush, not this one, but the AOS one. Despite it being, having those little scrubby hairs in the middle. Just cause, you have to deal with something like that body shot brush for a week long. I don't know about that. But, uh, enough about brushes. What else has been going on while I'm doing this? This weekend was pretty nice and busy. It was just kind of me and my kids. Uh, the wife had gone to Dallas. She's back now. But she does Mary Kay. Their big annual convention that goes on in Dallas. She went to that for a number of days. Um, so it was me and the kids, and this also happened to be this last weekend. Um, the uh, annual hula festival my in-laws put on every year downtown where we live um, it's called the George Naope Hula Festival they have 
three days of good food, competitive dancing, vendors, and that's, this was the 12th year. And we always help out with that. It's a family deal. And so I was running back and forth for that. I have animals at the house I had to take care of and still doing work during the day and the afternoon. So yeah, it was a very busy weekend. So all that running around. That's my kids, sorry, making noise. They're watching Mario Brothers. I don't know if any of you 80s kids used to watch that show when you were growing up. If any of you were 80s kids. But that was a favorite of mine, Zelda, Mario Brothers. All those 80s cartoons. Alright, second pass. Feather Blade is definitely nearing the end of its life, not getting good reduction. I'm trying to kind of stretch it out so that I can have fresh blades on my vacation. Now this brush is going to take some getting used to. I look forward to it. But something is up between it or the lighter lather that I'm trying to make. drying out really fast or something. Not grabbing enough. It's really thin, but it's alright. So I'm done with the feather. Razor Rock Game Changer next. So yeah, that was going on. That's a really fun thing. It gets all my in-laws side of the family together. They come from all over. California, some come from Tennessee. And uh, it's just a really nice time. Getting to enjoy that. All the cousins get together, the grandkids, aunts and uncles help out. Takes about a solid year of planning. It usually comes out pretty nicely. Feeling a little bit of something going on on my face. So I'm not going to do a full against the grain. I think I may have to forego the feather the rest of the week. We'll see. That could just be whatever's going on with the lather today. By the way, there's an Astra SP still loaded in this, the very same one I've been using this whole time since I got it, the Game Changer, since I got that. And this has about, I think this will be the 15th shave on it. Still going strong for the time being.
that there. It's gonna be a hot day today. Want as little irritation as possible. All right, clean everything else out later. Let's see if I can at least get my my other soak here. All right. So there's still a little bit of soap in there, not much. A mystery to be solved. Wash out the brush. I gotta do that. So yeah, last week's been pretty busy running around. Got this great PIF in, allowing me to experience some new uh, higher end things in the traditional shaving world. And uh, putting together that box for my dad. Little by little, haven't decided what razor I want to give him yet. He's got a straight razor already. I don't think he's touched it. Probably shouldn't until he gets going with uh, a DE first. But all right, is this off? Cold water. Patience calming down, whatever that was. Ready to close up. I'm gonna do Razor Rock the Stallion. Nice little dude. Colony type aftershave. that's that. Great to be back with you, give you some updates. I hope that uh, you all have a nice, cool, relaxing weekend coming up. For me, it's my Wednesday. I know it's Thursday today, but it's my Wednesday uh, for work anyway. And uh, bingo games still going on. Man, there's some crazy, mind-twisting stuff going on. John is a great caller and a very tricky color. Uh, having a hard time figuring out all those puzzles, but we'll get there. I'm close on at least one of my bingo cards. Um, I may win just yet, uh, but uh, all right. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. Take care. Oh, visit us at uh, theshavingcadre.com if you get the chance. I'm Gear Noor on the forums. I'll be looking forward to seeing you there. Bye.